Hi everyone, Andy Milford here from RDP Soft. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about our new CPU SPI application dashboard and report in Remote Desktop Commander. Many of our customers have been requesting this new sort of dashboard for a while. We have dashboards that will track memory and CPU utilization together for user sessions, and we have dashboards that will track memory usage by application, but we didn't have one that would track CPU use by application, um, and so we've added that in version 5. So as you can see, you just bring up that dashboard and our software will quickly show you uh, the processes that we're using the most CPU across all of the terminal servers, session host, WVD host, you're collecting data from in Remote Desktop Commander. And from there, it's just a matter of another click if you want to go and step into the user session where that CPU utilization was taking place. So you can further troubleshoot it, you can look up and research the process that was using the CPU. In fact, you can just right mouse click on the process name and you've got options like researching that process at Google to see what it is. You can also, if it is a Windows service running in the services session, do a lookup via a WMI call to find out the services that are running in that process. The other thing that's nice is this dashboard is, like pretty much all of our other dashboards, a report that you can run manually or that you can schedule in our software. So if you want to keep an eye on a day-to-day -day basis of the processes in your RDS or WVD or Citrix environment that are taking up the most CPU, very easy to do that. Again, you can run the report manually or you can schedule it. Um, and when you schedule or run the report manually, you can build filters. So you can do things like just look at CPU utilization by a particular user or group or a particular group of session hosts. You can also choose to filter by the actual process name or a group of process names if you're just tracking specific applications and finding out when they use the most CPU. That's it for this quick demo. Remember, if you'd like to try Remote Desktop Commander Suite, you can pick up a license for only $9.99 per server per month by going to www.rdpsoft.com forward slash buy.